Hey, what's up, fellas? Uh, getting ready to uh, run the pool because when they're going to make a... Anyways, just running the pool to keep the filter and the water clean. Um, let me turn that on. I will uh, title this the uh, Golden Girl Strike again. I cannot tell you um, how difficult older women can be when they've figured out that there's, they don't have a plan. They don't have a plan for them as they get older. And here's an example. So the golden girls down the street that are in what's called a compound living environment where they have four or five of the women all living in one of the houses down there. Evidently, she asked my wife yesterday if she could have some money to hire an assistant for six months. And uh, she, and I'll just give you her background. Her name's Annette. And um, she wanted my wife to loan her money in cash, of course. No contract, nothing like that. Anyways, so she could hire an assistant because she has diabetes mellanitis 2, which is a self-inflicted disability. That means you're not eating properly. And, you, and she's way overweight. And... Uh, one of the things, uh, so my wife asked me, let me, I'm trying to see, da, 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 da. yeah. All right. Anyways, all of her roommates who take care of her and keep her from having to go to the hospital, because of course she doesn't have insurance. Um, when my wife asked me, I told her, no, I said, we're not, we're not collecting broken toys. Um, and I'm not funding anyone else's retirement retirement or their problems are not my problems. I'm only concerned about the women in my life who are under my protection and the women I have uh, vowed to look out for. That's it. Nobody else. I don't know anybody else anything. And uh, she said that was uh, that I was kind of being cruel because we have the money to help. And I and I sat my wife down and I asked her, I said, why do you think we have the money to help somebody? in the first place. Anyways, we worked it out. No, I'm not. No, we're not. We're not helping you out, ladies. And her, all of her roommates are moving away. Uh, they're going, three of them are going back to help their uh, grandmother who's 94. Uh, and I think the other one is going back to help her uh, uncle. So that leaves her in this house. They all paid for the they, they paid for the, the, the six months because they didn't want to lose the house or anything else that went along with it. So they paid their part, even though they're not going to be there. The only problem is she's so big, she can't get in and get in and get out of a car. I'm talking about a car that sits low to the ground, let alone a truck. She is massive. Uh, it's got like five or six chins that go down. Hey, and she just says it's it's self-inflicted and we as men are not responsible for the land of broken toys and it's funny how older women keep showing up after they figured out it's too late for them so you guys stay safe and healthy Take care of each other if you can, and if you can't, you have to take care of yourself. Do not let them guilt you, which is part of the uh, signs that uh, Kevin Samuels gave to all of us. Shame, insults, guilt, and the need to be right. Those are the, those are the, those are the four. So don't let them use guilt to try to make—I'm not responsible for her, and neither are you. You're only responsible for the women you take responsibility for and the women who wish to be under your protection. And if they're not, oh, well, hate it for you. Like a fart in a G-string from West Texas, El Paso. I'm out of here. Bye-bye.